Whipping! The drone has been activated. I'm gonna press the button. And now what's gonna happen? The drone flies over to the other side and hacks into the mainframe. Oh, look at that! Top secret hacking activated! New location unlocked. A little bit slower, a little bit more methodical. What's going on over here? There's a button. Oh my god! Well, that's what that button does. Okay, as ruthless as this location might be, it does have some rewards. That is for sure. That is for sure, for sure, for sure. What is over here inside? Ah! 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 What the heck is the miner doing here? brand spanking new update that is bringing with it a new location that we're gonna be looting up in the form of the transport hub and by the looks of it we're gonna have a little extra help not just as lexi our dog companion coming along for the ride but by all indications a drone has entered the arena and this is going to be something that we are going to be able to upgrade throughout this update so as you can tell we got a lot of stuff we got to go ahead and get to and that all begins with this little quest line in the new heights to find out how to amplify the signal at the settlement i believe once you complete act two or start act two then this is, should become available so we are going to be getting to it i hope y'all are excited for the update because i sure as heck am and if you are make sure to subscribe with that notification bell hit ladies and gentlemen boys and girls because there's gonna be a lot more coming where this came from and there's way more of this update that we're gonna be going over throughout today's video like the brand new gunsmith bench interface that let me just say makes life incredibly easy because as you can see here we have six of the weapons that i plan on using throughout today there's a single button over here ba boom that instantly applies all of your weapon mod modifications to every single one of your guns which is kind of freaking sweet man like that just like such a huge quality of life thing because like now it just at the click of one button your entire inventory is instantly decked out with everything that you need but without further ado i need to go ahead and make my way over to none other than the settlement so let the fun begin because dude this is like we haven't had a new location in a freaking hot minute and y'all know me i'm a sucker for new things the last day on earth and by all indications it looks like there's a lot coming in at this update obviously we just showed off the gunsmith bench interface uh the drone companion that we we're gonna be able to craft and upgrade the transport hub location and also there's a new mercenary that was actually like really quickly a little little, little sidetrack here before we begin this drone thing there is also a new mercenary that was added in this update naomi and dash who actually appears to have her very own uh, little little drone over here and you can go ahead and see uh what you call some of her abilities her passive skills so we're gonna be trying to go ahead and unlock her as well she's a very rare character though so we're gonna need a little bit of good luck on our side to try and make that happen but she instructs the drone to move to another position each mercenary shot increases the charge level of the drone uh if during a maneuver the drone is fully charged it attacks with maximum speed of 15 shots in a row and then it fully discharges so it'll be interesting to see this in action and see just how naomi and dash uh do end up working out but yeah we're gonna go ahead and see how that happens in the future because right now i want it before i even worry about naomi's drone i'm worrying about my drone so what's up i want i think i got it here's that signal again what signal what signal tell me tell me tell me immediately here need wait no time what 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 does he mean by all these words tell me chris i couldn't hear anything let's try again you, you're gonna try again or is this where i have to amplify the signal the signal is weak we need to amplify it somehow i have an idea but I'm not sure. What's your idea, Chris? Are you gonna send me off to this brand new location known as the transport hub by chance? I can't pick up that darn signal. The radio tower should amplify it, but I'll have to work some magic. Oh, a magician? Is that your side hustle? I'll need some help. Let's meet by the tower in the east. Okay. I will do that. Do you, is, it, is it like in the settlement or? Oh, it's literally like in the Eastern Watchtower. All right, so we got to go and make our way to the map. But I wonder if this is like a new watchtower that was added or if this is like the existing watchtower uh, that un or like unveils the uh, police station. I wonder if now this watchtower will also be required to go ahead and unveil uh, the new transport hub location as it does uh, it does release itself. Also, another thing that I wanted to note really quickly as we go to make our way through things uh, over here in the store, there's actually a new companion section. Yeah, man. Buddy, we appears that we actually have uh, drone things over here in the shop as well. They could go ahead and cop. This one seems really freaking expensive, dude. But uh, it's also 80% off. And oh, there's extremely rare blueprints. Oh, 
so the drone, I mean, we're gonna see this firsthand here and then like probably this episode, right? Cause I'm gonna be uh, playing the heck out of this update. Uh, it appears like we'll be able to upgrade our drone similar to how we upgrade guns and we have to find blueprints for it and then spend resources, probably similar to like some of the resources we're seeing in this pack to go ahead and upgrade things. And I think the new location is gonna be very key for a lot of those things. Oh, there she is. Look at that beauty. Look at her in all of its glory, a brand new location. Oh yes, I am going inside of you today, Mr. Location, and we are gonna have a blast. I wonder if, does this count? Okay, so no, this this whole like, drone thing actually does not technically count as a new chapter inside of the storyline. It's just kind of like something that appears to unlock after act two is just like a part of your progression throughout the settlement. And yo, man, I mean, I'm completely here for it because this drone, I mean, can you, I just, I, I love the image of the little double whammy we're gonna be able to have having, because not only is Lexi gonna be able to help us as our true friend pup, but now we're gonna be able to have this drone following us around. And by the fact that it appears like it's gonna have like all these like weapon type blueprints, I wonder if the drone is also going to have like active skill mods for it or something like that. Like I, I'm, I'm very intrigued by all these possibilities. What's up, Chris? We were foolish to hope there would be no zombies here. Deal with them while I'm prepping the gear. Yeah, no problem. I'll go ahead and happily deal with uh, some of these zombie officers. Lexi doesn't appear interested in helping. Lexi's taking a nap. She's like, I'm about to be out of a job. Lexi's like, the drone's about to be taking over everything. All right, there we go. Lexi, Lexi's back on the hustle. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, pup. And then we got one more hungry chomper over here. A little hungry, hungry hippo. And goodbye, hip no. How about that? Um, and now we got to talk to Chris with this place being freshly cleared out. Chris, my boy, I've done the deed. Great. Now let's go check the equipment. Happily, happily, happily. Let's see what all this equipment is about. Am I going to have to like make some repairs or something like that? I, I, I feel like I am, man. I, I, I feel like that's exactly what's going to have to happen. And I feel like I'm not going to. Uh, oh, no, it's good. The tower is working. That's the first good piece of news today. I was not expecting that at all. I was fully expecting things to be in pretty bad shape, all things considered. Hmm. How about now? Oh, no, not the freaking block. What block? Like a Minecraft block? What's going on? We need to recalibrate the repeater, but I'm not going there and neither should you. If only we had a... Now that's an idea. Let's assemble a drone. I heard one falling not far from here. Maybe there are some parts left there. <gasps> and so it begins, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to the transport hub and taking our first steps towards assembling our very own Drone. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, and another thing this update does uh, bring as well for reading uh, through some of the update notes is I believe that there are gonna be new workbenches as well that we can craft over in the settlement. And I believe those primarily have to do with crafting resources that we need for drone assembly, actually. So it seems like a lot of this update does center around the drone. I mean, even the new mercenary that added does have a drone. And here's the transport hub. Uh, it appears to be a three skull location, making it, it, uh, it appears to be a little bit on the tougher side. And if we go ahead and look at some of the rewards, yo, we got drone blueprints. We got, actually, we can get a new vinyl record. That's gonna be pretty cash money. Uh, and also, eight TV transmissions. Hello! Not only will this location be good for assembling the drone, but it also appears like it'll just be cash money in general. And also the fact that we can get various... The fact that the equalizer is actually rare loot in this location is kind of insane to me. And armor piercing and, and things like the Uzi and the shotgun are just common loot. Dude, are we actually about to, uh, about to be stumbling into like one of the most difficult locations added to the game in a hot minute? Because by the looks of that loot, that seems like it's gonna be nice. And also, can we just take a second to appreciate this is now some sort of harbor on the southern shore, which means that this transport hub might ultimately have to do with how we reach potentially Bunker Charlie by boat. That's just a little, that's just a little side note, okay? But this is now an actual like dock on the southern shores that is going on. Just an interesting little note I wanna go ahead and make there, but without further ado, it's time for us to dive into the transport hub. And if you're excited for this, smash the bejesus out of that like button, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me know in that comment section down below what you think of this transport hub as we are going through it. Not to mention what y'all potentially think of it of yourselves as you are personally firsthand uh, going through it. And hopefully I'll be able to provide some uh, in impeccable guidance as uh, I fumble my way through here and die expertly. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be dying. I'm gonna be doing the dying. I mean, the killing. I'm gonna be killing zombies. And we have just learned, ooh, the drone recipe, and it appears like we actually cannot go into the location until we build the drone. 
But we have learned the recipe, which is half the battle. Because as y'all may have noticed from my inventory earlier, I already saw what the recipe required. I prepared my inventory for it. We are wasting no time. Okay, we're crafting this thing absolutely ASAP. I'm stopping at nothing to show off as much of this update as humanly possible. It does be like the new location is going to be on a two-day respawn timer as well. Just a little thing to make note of over there. But uh, let's go home, let's craft up this workbench, <coughs> and let's see what all that beautiful jazz is going to be all about. And like I said earlier, again, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell, hit the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls to stay in the loop with all things about this update, because this seriously seems like uh, the most substantial update we've probably had, like, what, in, like, the past year? I mean, I guess six months ago, we did get the settlement update that added expeditions, but also expeditions, like, think about expeditions, they were such a different update, because they, they didn't directly correlate with Last Day on Earth gameplay, if you think about it. Like, it wasn't the core gameplay we've all fallen in love with. It's, like, this kind of, like, new, like, little mini-game type action going on over at the settlement, and now, you know, it's a little bit different. I also do think, this is another thing as well, uh, I do believe some of the expeditions also have changed within this settlement and the difficulty of the expeditions uh, in, in, in kind of what some of what this update has encompassed, but uh, we, we could go over that a little bit later because right now, again, all, all eyes are on the drone. We have unlocked the recipe. We've got everything we need, so without further ado, bada bing, bada boom, we have one drone and docking station up inside of our inventory. Let's go ahead and throw that thing down. And what type of floor does this need to go on? It needs to go on a stone floor, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Uh, where do we want this? I mean, I'll just have it in my trophy room by my office, because why not? Oh, do I have to actually, like, assemble this thing? Because that does not look like it's a completed assembly. Oh, that is not completed assembly by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, goodness gracious, some things will be required. Primarily, the flight controller, a key device for controlling a drone. It can be found in the port laboratory. Um, other than that, I actually do have everything else, and hydraulic parts finally have a use, so that's kind of huge. But the flight controller, this is new. And from some research, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, that flight controller that we need to finish assembling this, the primary method that you are gonna be able to get that is actually from the laboratory by defeating the boss over in sector A2. Now we need to get 10 of those flight controllers, which definitely seems like a lot and like something we might not normally be able to do today. But luckily you came to the right place because that ain't gonna stop me from showing off everything in this update absolutely ASAP. We we went ahead and we actually copped that bombardier pack because, hey, listen, it's got 14 of those flight controllers, so wha-bam, we went ahead, tossed those into our inventory. Sure, we might need those to assemble the mod eventually, but for now, we are instead going to be putting them towards assembling none other than the drone and docking station. Luckily, we've got all of these resources for this because we are hoarding things constantly. Wabam! Let's throw everything in there and actually hold up really quick. We gotta get 10 hydraulic parts, which luckily I do have a ton of from all of my laboratory runs. Actually, those should be right. Just kidding, I actually just moved those things. Those should be right over. Just kidding, I've gotten mixed up yet again. Right over here. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. I need 10 of those and then we gotta go ahead and get 20 20 of the high-tech components which we have over here inside of none other than this little chest right over here just kidding not that chest i am getting absolutely kerfuffled inside of this chest right over here and with that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i hope that you are prepared it is time for us it's a finish assembling the drone and docking station Woo! Look at that bloody beauty, yellow, yellow. The drone is fully charged, what do I do? I just throw it into my inventory. Okay, interesting, and look at that, bang. We have a drone over here, we can throw up to four mods up into it. That is very interesting that you, this docking station literally charges it too, dude. Look at like a Tesla, we gotta plug it in at home, dog. And uh, now it is time for us to return to the Eastern Watchtower with the drone. Here's the thing, <coughs> goodness gracious, I'm so excited, I'm forgetting to breathe. Um, I'm not gonna activate the drone until this quest tells us to, just to make sure that we have enough charge to use it to the fullest extent, because like, listen, I we literally need it to go into the transport hub. So it's obviously going to be very important. So let's go and not go to the transport hub yet. Let's go back over to the Eastern Watchtower to help out our boy Chris. And then hopefully Chris, will send us to this transport hub and we'll be able to check it out and hopefully we'll actually be able to collect I, I think 
flight controllers are loot that we can possibly get from the transport hub once we go in and open it up. But yeah, otherwise, the main way you're going to be getting that is actually going to be from the laboratory uh, defeating the Sector A2 boss, which is actually a also how you get your hands on some of the hydraulic parts, which is actually really interesting. So now the laboratory, some of that loot that before really wasn't as useful has just become very useful. And the hoarders of the world, like me, are prepared for this apocalypse, baby, which again is just another reason you got to make sure to subscribe with that notification bell hit because I'm hoarding everything humanly possible last night so when new things come into the game, we are prepared. We're as prepared as humanly possible, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and we are prepared to have an absolute blast, a ball, and a fan-freaking-tastic time today. Hello, Chris. I'm back with the drone. Go into... All right. Uh, let's try it out. Let's start her up. Don't diddly mind if I diddly do. Okay, so I throw it into our back pocket. Boom. I press it, and it shows up. I have launched the drone. What do, what do I do now? Now let's see. Indeed, let's see. Wait, please. I gotta wait. Oh! Up there, I think we've ruffled some feathers. We have now. Oh! Yeah, what the heck is that thing? Is that a lurker crawling down? What are you doing, dude? My drone is just kind of like, uh, oh. Well, luckily, we got our friend over here who is just gonna absolutely melt him with the gas. Oh, you'd love to see that. Finish him? Oh, you want me to finish him? Okie dokie. I'm on it. Too. And he is finished. Did he drop anything? Anything useful? Yeah, some nails. I'll take that, I suppose. Why not? What's up, Chris? How we doing? I'm afraid one tower isn't enough. Try to recalibrate the others. We gotta recalibrate a ton of other towers? What the heck is going on here? I've screwed something onto your drone. It shoots now. Cool, huh? Oh, let's go! And our drone can shoot things now! Core module installed. The trigger. The drone will now be able to attack enemies. And we officially have our secondary helper ready to go. Now, here's another thing. What happens? Also, where is the drone? Okay, so, uh, like, uh, uh, like, here's the thing, man. The fact that we gotta have it in our pocket, we're gonna continue playing around with this a little bit, don't worry. But the fact that we have to have it in our secondary pocket is a little bit concerning because that means that, like, you know, we're kind of in, like, a sticky little situation here with the fact that we gotta swap in between our weapons. Uh, but that's interesting that we gotta go and uh, activate three more towers here to calibrate whatever the heck it is that's going on in this quest line. Uh, we, uh, we're, we're gonna do some of this tower stuff first before we head over to the transport hub. We really wanna see what all this jazz is all about. Uh, so we got three other towers that we got to go to. Uh, so there's going to be one, there's going to be two, and number three. So, ooh, or we can go and open the gates at the transport hub. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think I speak for everybody with a brain, and even those of us without a brain, when I say, uh, uh, okay, there's a quest line telling us to go to the transport hub. We're going to the transport hub, okay? We'll continue setting up the towers and seeing where that takes us, but first things first, man, we got some business to take care of and see what the heck the transport hub is all about. Dude, there's so much that we're gonna have to do. This is what I'm talking, dude, this is the first update we've had in so long where we are going to be busy freaking bees trying to check out all that it has to offer. And I'm here for it, baby. I am 150% here for it. Let's go over here to this thing. Drone required. Well, well, well. Don't mind if I go ahead and uh, throw that thing into our back pocket. Whipping! The drone has been activated. I'm gonna press the button. And now what's gonna happen? The drone flies over to the other side and hacks into the mainframe. Oh, look at that. Top secret hacking activated. No location unlocked. Yes, 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 my little drone. And now the drone, unfortunately, has just flied away. Oh, no. Well, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. I still want to try and see the drone in action. What is going on over here? Just like a normal old float of blood. Okay. <coughs> Not too worried about that. Uh, now, here's the thing. Do we activate the drone right now or do we try to save the charge? Because I feel like it, it, it might still be necessary. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, that's the thing about having the drone in the back pocket. All right, let's go to activate it. Let's see the drone in action with Lexi. A little bit of a double whammy drone. Are you going to start shooting at people? Okay, well, it only does like seven damage per hit, but it's something. So the drone is doing something. And it is unfortunately, while it is in use, actually locked into your second pocket. So that's a little bit obnoxious about this drone. I would have kind of hoped that instead, you know, it would maybe try to, uh, whatchamacallit, like, like you wouldn't have to have it locked in your secondary pocket, but 
it is what it is it is still really interesting though that you can essentially have two companions between the drone and the pup now but it appears like the drone only lasts for a limited amount of time potentially weapon modifications will be able to change that up a little bit and we'll be able to um i don't know we'll be able to have the drone like last longer hopefully do more damage because i was honestly only doing like seven damage per shot there which is like really not that crazy um so just some other things to go ahead and keep in mind there but there y'all have the drone in action in its most basic form i mean it's all right but here's the thing all right i i know that there are going to be better mods we obviously we got to assemble that bombardier mod unfortunately not we spent 10 of the flight controllers we needed um for building the drone in the first place so we're gonna have to try to find some more of those and like i'm saying hopefully we'll be able to find some of those literally right here in right meow uh but i believe that we got a big old building over here it's locked from the other side so the question is how the heck do we get into this building also let me just really quickly loot these guys and make sure that they're not dropping anything valuable because whenever we're going to a new location I always want to be a little bit on the careful side and don't don't want to be missing things man you know what i'm saying uh now this is going to be able to go and open up a doorway we got some zombie officers nothing too wild a hungry hungry hippo of a chomper over here we'll go ahead and chomp on this baby chomp on some bullets i'm um, num 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 baby and we have some sort of an interface uh, over there the hungry chomper was just hitting some sort of a chest that was actually a vending machine <laughs> the hungry chomper was literally hungry dude that's actually hilarious uh but we have this little thing here do i need the drone for this is the drone literally just required for everything no this requires something new a terminal card opens access to the cargo delivery terminal and the transport hub well that is new and we are definitely going to have to try and get our hands on that the smasher these are new enemies. Oh, they cause bleeding. That's obnoxious. Oh, what an acid melter. How the heck did you sneak your way into here, buddy? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, our armor is getting absolutely okay. Our armor is now gone. That acid melter threw me off, man. I'm going to be honest. I did not expect that acid melter to make an appearance, but uh, here we are. So uh, it is what it is. Now what is going on over there? We got a fast rider. We got a few guys who are going to be running up on us. There's a chest over that back corner. Kind of want to see what that chest is all about. First and foremost, our pants are about to break as well. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, shirtless star will continue his trek and his troubles. I also wonder what happens if you die with the drone. Will it just like, like, I wonder if it just like, what happens if you lose your drone? Do you have to like craft another one? Or does it just like in instantly like respawn back to your uh back to your charging station? That's actually a very good question. I am curious about what is going on there. That is locked from the other side. Uh, I don't see any other doors into this location though, my friend. What is going on? Hello, that person's gonna be waking up. There's like some sort of a broken bridge over there on the second floor. Uh really not sure what that's going on with that. Are we gonna have to like repair this somehow or uh yeah it looks like somehow we're gonna have to bridge that gap and repair it by getting to the second floor within that building oh baby a pistol and actually some glass some first aid kits dude the loot in this location actually is not too shabby this was a locked chest to be fair but like honestly it was not like the only zombies you really had to kill to reach that chest i think there were maybe like five six zombies that you would have to deal with to get there so honestly hitting that chest every time this responds even if you don't have a lot of loot seems like it might be a great bang for your buck proposal if you ask me uh now we got another chest over here we do have a ladder that can lead us upwards potentially towards repairing uh that little bridge there hopefully it's not too expensive but uh, this is the only ladder we can currently reach. So let's access that. Let's get over here on the second floor where there are going to be some zombies. Oh, a toxic darter. No, no, no. Let's get you that guy out of here, man. I do not want to be dealing with toxic darters. No, 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 no. Okay, looks like we're actually going to be dealing with a few toxic darters. And we've got... Oh, goodness gracious! What the heck? Those toxic darters sniped me from the bottom floor! Oh, my God! Those things are brutal. All right, so since it appears that we are traveling into what definitely seems like a dangerous location, uh, I'm, we're bringing out the heavy duty guns, man. I might still be dressed like a gosh darn jackrabbit, but we ain't playing no more games. So that's that game's name is Last Day on Earth, in which case we're literally playing that game. But you know what I'm talking about, man. We are going to respect, res res definitely respect to this location here uh, in our first trek to it. And it, okay, I calculated calculated death exactly what i meant to do ladies and gentlemen um I, I i i died for you guys i died so you can see what happens to your drone it immediately returns your drone is smart enough to return to your base confirmed because that right there ladies and gentlemen i am a professional gamer a professional gamer man 
And because of that, I, I don't die on accident, okay? I've never accidentally been killed. I only die for purposeful reasons for the sake of the content. And that right there was for you guys. For you guys and gals. So y'all can see what happens to the drone. And bada bing, bada boom. The drone goes right on back to the charging station. Yee ha ha! That's what I'm talking about. So don't worry about losing the drone. It will always come back to you. Now here's the thing. I'm also curious, and which, which is why I died on purpose. Very purposefully. Uh, what happens to your body when you uh, die at this location because some locations they teleport back to the start other locations they don't and i'm kind of worried about what location this will be because like if, if our body's up there in the rafters surrounded by toxic darters that's really bad you want to know why that's really bad because like this is why i'm taking this location so seriously um getting swarmed by that many toxic darters is really bad because they always do 40 damage to you. Um, there's no way to avoid the damage that they inflict. Uh, it doesn't matter what armor you're wearing, nothing like that. They're gonna do 40 damage whether you like it or not, which is terrifying because that means you could die. Oh, and, and people seem to have respawned? What the heck? So, okay, another interesting note. Uh, okay, so this, your body definitely does not come back to the start and the entire location has reset, so you have really got to be careful when you were doing your rounds around here, including the chest. Did we lose our body, dude? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The uh, the entire location respawned. Bro, our body better still be up there, man. I'm actually like a, a like a, the slightest bit concerned. We may, dude, if I just lost four flight controllers, I'm actually going to be livid. Uh, that's, that's actually going to be so upsetting. If our body is just gone like that, there there ain't no way. There there ain't no way. It's 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 gotta be there, right? It's got it's gotta be there. What are these notes? Even the apocalypse is planet is beautiful sunsets. Mike created a whole lounge zone on the roof so as to remember to enjoy life. Well, he did the best he could. Alright. Good note. Thank you for sharing. Uh Nah man, that's not okay. A uh, good thing we brought the big guns. We gotta kill these enemies literally as humanly fast as possible. Because they ain't playing. Dude, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, hold up. We're gonna go and... Okay, I was just doing a barrel roll because I do know that there's an Astamelter coming here and I would rather stay far away from him and deal with him ASAP. Is our body better still be up by that second floor, dude? There ain't no way. There ain't no way we just got done dirty like that. Because if so, y'all better... Dude, if this is actually the case, you guys have to watch... Our body's gone. Our body's gone. Dude, where's our body? Where's our body? Why is our body not here? What the heck do you mean? What do you mean, dog? Okay, and we're getting swarmed by a lot of toxic darters right now. Oh, and they appear to have, like... They're literally, like, they, they were, like, down on the ground floor. Dude, our body's gone! No! Look at that. The, the zombie literally like, drops down off this ledge. I just lost four? No! Yeah. Well, that, uh, that goes to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Do not mess around in this location. I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if that's, like, a one-off thing that just occurred. But we just lost a lot. And this bridge is a little bit pricey to repair. It requires a ton of things. All right, well, we'll, we'll get around to repairing that. Don't worry. I'm just, I'm still currently in shock that our, our body's gone and we, we need our drone to do whatever this is trying to do. So I'll activate this man. Why not? And let's send the drone. Bada bing, bada boom. Drone, do your thing. It's scanning a little crate up there. Is it going to be able to loot that for us? Or just, it just scans the cargo. What does scanning the cargo mean? I'm not entirely sure, but this is a mystery we're gonna definitely try to get to the bottom of. And here we have some more cargo the drone can scan. We got some weird stuff on the other side of this wall going on. Do you guys see that? There's like uh, the icon on the mini map. I wonder, is, is there about to be like some sort of a boss we're gonna encounter? Oh, Aston Melter, hello, hello. I do not want to lose the durability on this Kevlar. No, thank you. Oh, whoa, no, no. We got a freaking talk to Darter over there. Luckily, can't hit me from the other side of that wall. But uh, I was definitely worried about that occurring. Oh my goodness, I, I'm still in shock. We actually just lost four flight controllers like that, dude. All right, no matter, we're gonna continue making our way upwards here, onwards and upwards, baby. I, I don't know if that was like a one-time glitch that just occurred, but I, I suppose time will tell. We'll see exactly what the case is with all this. I'm very scared to go down there. I see multiple juggernauts and multiple, like actually pretty tough looking zombies. Um. 
This, like, I know there's a toxic darter down there, too. Yeah, we're gonna have to be careful as heck, man. I mean, there's a chance we die at this point. I mean, if we die, we're not gonna... I mean, we'll lose. Okay, we'll lose a few guns, which is gonna suck, but... Uh, hopefully we don't. The fact that there's two juggernauts down there, this is just, this This does not seem like a safe way to enter down into that location, especially with like ooh, that bubbling stuff down there. Um, worst case, we'll climb back up the ladder, I suppose. What's the worst that could happen? Death, death, lots of death. Armor, they're armored enemies. They're armored enemies down here. Okay, was not prepared for that. Definitely not prepared for that. Nope, 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 nope. We definitely want to go and heal up as soon as possible. Okay, so we're gonna definitely want to make our way back towards that with some armor-piercing weapons. That whole sector is just dealing with different stuff, I suppose. Uh, can I, like, I wish I could, I wish I could shoot this toxic dart from the other side of this wall, man. That would make life a lot easier to be able to just deal with them before I go down there with all of those... All of those armored enemies. So, yeah, uh, armored weapon will definitely be required for that sector. Um, I can't, I still can't believe that our body disappeared. Why would that happen? Why would the entire location, like, seemingly reset from scratch? I mean, hey, at least we get to loot everything twice, but that is such a blow. And, I mean, that's on me. I should have been a little bit more careful. Ooh, a gun. I definitely should have been a little bit more careful and not brought the flight controllers with us. But, like, I, I, I was thinking, hey, if we die, I'll recover my body, man. I'm fearless. I'm ruthless like that. But it appears like fearlessness and ruthlessness uh, might not be enough to get you through this location, man. You got to be careful as can be. But that's okay. We'll continue searching and seeing what else this, lo what else this location might have to offer. Uh, this appears to be a dead end over on here. So it, it looks like we might just have to go a little bit further down and see if there's anything else uh, further down this way. We do have this little chest over here. We do have a, a flutter blutter over here. We have what appears to be a fast rotter. You are done with two, my friend. And what is this over here? Another fast rotter. Boom! You're gonna rot just a little bit faster once I put my bullet in through you, my friend, please. And thank you. Let's go ahead and go on upwards and onwards and see what's over here in the back of this. There's a door over there. I wonder if we might be able to like, ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, that's the door of the sector we were just in, right? And it is locked from the other side, so it might be a decent strategy. Is like maybe just running down that ladder, opening that door, and running out to kind of like just give yourself a little bit more breathing room, uh, and just kind of like be able to tackle things a little bit slower, a little bit more methodical. What's going on over here? There's a button. Oh my god! Well, that's what that button does. It just drops that crate. I don't know if that, did that like drop on a zombie or something? Like literally, what just happened? Uh, we got, okay, now we are moving on to more ship-themed uh, zombies over here with midshipmen and the like. I'm gonna need to go and grab some more weapons or something too, dude, because, like, we are starting to run a little bit on the low side. What do we have over here? Some rope? All right, that's all right, all right, all right, all right. We can live with that. Uh, why do I feel like opening that just, just they, they, I feel like a boss is gonna come out of there, man. Like, some of these crates just seem like they're screaming oh i'm gonna throw a boss at you as soon as you open me up we got a little ship over here what's going on just a ship nothing too crazy going on this might be useful a little bit later on i imagine oh we got a sailor coming from the freaking lower from the poop deck interesting and all right i've grabbed a few more weapons just to be safe uh man i was really hoping to get that tactical backpack back but hey, it is what it is i suppose uh, we just got m more of these crates now so i'll open this up um, is there anything inside? Just random stuff, uh, engines. There is what appears to be a crate all the way at the end of there. I have no idea how would we, how would we even be able to access that. Um, but that is something we will keep in mind. There's something on the other side of this there. That's a glowing zombie. Why is that zombie glowing? He hello, Mr. Zombie. How are you? Uh, multiple glowing zombies. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? How, how powerful are you guys? Just pale zombies. Okay. Nothing too crazy. We got a little, little chest over here at the end. Am I gonna get swarmed by zombies as soon as this opens? <gasps> oh, baby, that's some nice loot. All right, went ahead and just threw on a tactical backpack that we got from some previous season passes from my inbox, and I'll be taking all of that. Thank you very kindly. And okay, as ruthless as this location might be, it does have some rewards. That is for sure. That is for sure, for sure, for sure. What is over here inside? Ah! 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 What the heck is the miner doing here? No, no, I'm not physically prepared for you. Why do he's so fast? He's so fast. Oh, no, oh, oh, he's doing 23 damage per hit. I'm locked in here. Dude, what the heck do you mean? He summons friends. Am I about to lose even more stuff? I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this one bit. Okay, 
that chest unleashes the miner. Okay, I, all, all the doors are locked. I'm literally stuck here with the miner. I'm doing like seven damage per hit here. Uh, we gotta go in and throw in like the VSS. Uh, maybe the equalizer. Like, I don't know. He doesn't have armor, so I don't really want to use the equalizer on him. I mean, at least we have lots of medical supplies to try to get us through this. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am uh, a little bit concerned with how this is gonna go. Why are we battling the miner over here, dude? Okay, definitely. That, that's why we do it. That's why we do what we do. So y'all are a little bit more prepared uh, when you make your way here. And uh, you need to be prepared with, with some of these boxes. Because if you open them, you summon bosses. And this is, the, this, is, this is the highest health boss in the history of single player last day on Earth. Oh my goodness gracious. No, 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 no. Luckily, it is kind of easy to dodge here at times. But, uh... I gotta be careful, because I feel like if you get hit by his, like, little attack there... Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, you might be in a world of pain and a world of trouble. And I would not like to be in any of those things. Okay, like, he's just gonna keep doing his thing here. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm just gonna try to use as much pistol ammo as I can. He's gonna keep doing his thing. Okay, can I, like, throw, like, another, like, weapon over here into the back? Okay, we got we got more pistol ammo. Ugh! I feel like he keeps on getting faster, dude! I literally feel like he keeps getting faster! And the music keeps on getting more intense! Luckily, I mean, I'm just gonna like, okay, that, all you gotta do, keep a move on, man. Keep on moving. That, I feel like, is the secret to this boss. Ow. Just whenever he, whenever he starts running at you, keep moving. Because he may or may not unleash an attack on you. Like that. And when that happens, you definitely want to be a little bit on the careful side. There we go. We'll dodge him a little bit there. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? We've just been stunned. We've just been stunned by a lot of damage. What, what, what the heck is this thing? What is this monstrosity? Okay, 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 you know, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna say screw it and we're gonna start utilizing the equalizer here because I feel like we literally have to. He starts yelling at you and stuff. The equalizer, I mean, is it even like, is it even piercing his freaking, uh, it, it, like, I don't even know if it's piercing his armor, man. Oh, goodness gracious. He keeps on getting faster and faster. <laughs> Duh. We gotta keep on dodging, weaving, and dodging, and weaving, and dodging, dude. Oh, dude, this is getting, like, way too intense. Come on, just gotta do a little bit of damage here, a little bit of pistol drizzle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, I mean, we, 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 ha we actually have had to use a surprisingly little amount of medical supplies. I don't want to jinx that by talking too much here, but, uh, that is exactly what is occurring. Oh, no. Keep on, keep on sidestepping. I'm just waiting for him to do that, like, weird, like, giant attack he did, but, uh, I mean, so far, so good. This is actually going not too shabby. Oh, dude, I'm about to die when this guy's like at his like last leg. I feel like okay, just I feel like you want to wait for him to swing and then ba da bing, ba da boom. Goodbye to the miner on my very first try, and we have unlocked the terminal card, and I've unlocked a heart attack. Oh, good. Goodness gracious. Dude, my, my heart is absolutely beating right now, man. And, like, uh, there's also a toxic darter. It appears, like, inside of that? I don't even know what's going on there. This is just insanity, man. This is... There you... Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The brand new miner boss. I'm still locked in here? Dude, how do I... How the heck do I get out of here? Oh, I just gotta, like, activate this thing? Okay. That is ruthless of them, man. I'm gonna... Uh, here's the thing. Just in case I die again... I'm gonna put some of the, like, the really valuable stuff, uh, just in the back of here, just in case things go, things go south. Cause they might. That's the general direction they've been heading. <laughs> uh, I am curious though, I, I am very, very curious, if there was anything in the crate of the miner. By chance? No, there was nothing inside of there. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. So now that we have this key over here, uh, what the heck happens if we put it in here? It just, like, activates this terminal and authorization and hello? Interesting! So after you utilize that, what appears to occur is that out of all of the crates you scan inside of the terminal, you have a chance to open up any of them. Oh, that is very interesting. All right, so grabbed a few more of these weapons. I mean, we're, we're gonna have it definitely a little bit tricky, but we are gonna clear out the rest of this warehouse and we're gonna get to the bottom of this, man. Whatever. I died. I lost some stuff. So be it. Onwards and upwards. I'm not here to complain. I'm here to have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time and provide y'all with ideally as much joy as humanly possible. So what we are going to try to do here is uh, we are going to try and ideally, I want to lure these guys over like into into this corner so they are as far away as humanly possible from me when we make our way down into there because i feel like that's where we're really gonna like run into issues with some of these fellas uh because as soon as we step down we're gonna be swarmed by them which is not good so we gotta be ready to 
use our freaking heals as soon as humanly possible. And hello, we are getting swarmed. Luckily, they do not do too much damage, which is good. Let's go and open up this door over here, and we can run a little bit. And beautiful, a little bit of breather room over here, a little bit of maneuverability, which is exactly what we were looking for. For whatever reason, the Toxic Darter is having a troubling time following through with us, which is awesome. He is lagging a little bit further behind, which we love to see. And bless up that the Carrions are definitely a little bit on the slower... I mean, they, they don't do a lot of damage, man. And oh, they dropped tickets. That's kind of nifty. I will take that. Thank you very kindly. You guys dropping anything other? I mean, no, it just looks like they dropped green tickets, which I guess is just like a nice little bonus. You'll be getting your hands on some green tickets uh, just throughout this process. So I'll, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Green tickets are green tickets. And that's definitely the best strategy right there is you want to shoot your way down this ladder, open up this door, and that just gives you some breathing room, which is definitely going to be massive. Now, um, I don't know what the heck is going on with that. I feel like I'm going to die to this in some horrific accidents because that just appears to be like the, the common theme of today is me dying in horrific accidents in the new update. But, uh, okay, we got some... I mean, the loot here is really not too shabby. I'm really scared to walk towards that. I, I'm just not going to walk towards that until we beat this location because I fear for my life and I like my life. You know, it's pretty cool. And, oh, we have to go and repair this forklift with also more resources from the settlement are we gonna need this forklift to unlock the last bit of location or like the last like possible chest potentially i mean there's gonna be a lot of repairs we're gonna have to do in this location by the looks of it and uh, we will definitely be chugging our way along to that don't you worry but all right let's go up here um there is a little walkway this way and a fancy looking chest and what is inside of this oh baby new loot drone replacement battery thank you very kindly lead plates massive that there is now a new way to get your hands on lead plates before building your atv because lead plates are necessary for building arguably the best module in bunker bravo to actually get more uh, atv car batteries and uh weapon parts and gas cylinders when you're clearing that location so that's also kind of big over there uh love to see that and it appears like we actually need to repair the forklift uh in order to go that way and we need the drone to go ahead and go this way so we could do that and then yeah it looks like that last little one that that last little that that last crate the fourth crate which i feel like has got to be the best one because it's the one that requires you know a repair to even reach because we got to repair that forklift is it's it's gonna have to be nice man I think that's gonna have to be nice for sure. So we will work our way towards repairing this because unfortunately at the moment, I do not have any rotors to my name, uh, but I will try and claim some rotors to my name. And as soon as we collect this stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll go walk towards this thing. And there's also a crashed helicopter here. Oh dang, I just noticed that, that was a freaking crashed helicopter. And I think that thing just tried attacking Lexi, which is not very cash money of it. But yeah, there's like literally a crashed helicopter in here, dude, dude. This location is freaking crazy. I'm still scared of that thing. I don't know what it is. And this location just seems like a glorified death trap with a lot of good loot, but death trappy. You know what I mean? Uh, so let's go over into here. Continue chugging our way along. We just want to find our ladder to go back. This is like a little maze that we got going on here. You have to do like a, a lot of little back and forth. Oh, we still got to repair that bridge to go over to the second building too. Yeah, we're going to be busy. We're going to be busy at this location. I'm here for it though. And the miner, seriously, is like pretty doable. Just got to have plenty of weapons. But like the fact I beat him on my first try, I'm actually a little bit impressed, man. I was getting a little bit concerned there. But all right, we have just unlocked the third crate over here in the cargo delivery terminal. Uh... Ooh, which has some pretty good stuff, man. And n none of the possible rewards here are uh, are the, like, I mean, definitely nifty stuff here and there. But uh, I, I think I'm going to grab grab the this one for sure. I wish I knew what was in this one. We're going to have to get around to that. But for now, out of these three, it seems like the further you get into the warehouse, the better the loot gets. Because the fact you can get extremely rare weapon mob blueprints and purple inspector cards... Carbon composites, Kevlar, SWAT, seems a lot more potent than like some of these earlier ones. But without further ado, let's see and unload this puppy. And it just drops it down right into there. I can go over into this, unhook that little thing, and bada bang, bada bo- Oh my god! I am in awe. I, I, I did not expect this much loot. I am a very happy man at the moment. 
Very, very happy. You might not be able to hear it in my voice. Uh, that's because my voice is too busy being filled with shock. And the quality of the eight lenses? Goodness gracious. Uh, like, I, 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 here's the thing. I'm kind of scared that, like, I don't know if, like, uh, if we come back to this location, if everything's going to reset again. I'm kind of scared of that happening a little bit, but oh my. I, I can't wait to repair that forklift and come back to this location, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the miner might be a terrifying boss, but, uh, the rewards are pretty nifty. I've already forgotten the anger from dying earlier. Because I'm filled with the, the joy of everything that we just got. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there you have it! A nice little look at the brand new update with a primary focus on the transportation hub, the drone. Uh, obviously, we still have a lot more to do. A lot, a lot, a lot more to do. I mean, we've got to make our way over to the drone upgrade bench. We're going to have to craft uh, some of these new iron rods over here. And, I mean, this might be something we have to actually place in the settlement, too. So, we're going to continue cooking. Good looking. Don't you worry about that. And hopefully upgrading uh, the drone and making it a lot more potent and powerful. But the transport hub is a formidable location that we are definitely going to be coming back to every two days for the near future. Because here's the thing, I wonder if there's like a multitude of bosses you could face or if it's always the miner that you're going to be facing. But I'm always here for a good boss battle. Not what I was expecting, but it's what we got. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Star Slip. We're live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Link in the top of the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure that y'all go to pop out over there if you have not not yet. We are definitely going to be checking out this update some more on that uh, fateful uh, Friday and having a ball, having a blast over there. If you don't know what time that starts, your local times on twitch.tv slash star slip slash schedule. We'll be able to go ahead and help you out. Also, link in the top of the description and in the pinned comment. We'll see you know what time there starts in your own local time zone one week. This Week, or that's the same time that we are starting every single week, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time, having a ball in some live last down with action with the face cam on with the live chat rolling so y'all can interact with everyone, interact with me, I can interact with the chat, and y'all can see my face as it's all going on, making it for a fun little bonus LD we experience. But uh, yeah, that's gonna start wrapping up for me for now with our initial dive into this update. There's still a lot more that we gotta do. We're gonna be doing that. We gotta try to get our hands on the new mercenary, we gotta try to get our uh, build the next workbench. We gotta still check out what the new settlement expeditions look like. And uh, we gotta go repair these watchtowers for our boy Chris. We're gonna be busy. That's gonna wrap up for you for now. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya!